age 11, Marge Gray Gorchek took her seat behind the St. Valentine's organ and hasn't left since. Over the past 72 years, the congregation has been singing to her tune. I just feel, I feel delighted. I feel when I come out of church, I'm, I'm happy. And then I have a husband that says, good job, Marge, and so he's happy. Last year, the Diocese of Saginaw started making plans to consolidate and repurpose churches, including Marge's church beloved St. Valentine's. So I never thought our church would get be closed. Following the last note on Marge's organ Sunday, St. Valentine's will be designated as a church of occasional use. We will have funerals here, we'll have weddings here, we'll have masses, you know, periodically throughout the year. For Marge and others, shifting from full-time to periodical is a tearful change. It hurts you, it hurts you because you, you know, you, you just wonder why, why did this happen? It's a parish seeing less and less parishioners in the pews. And with a nationwide lack of men entering priesthood, together it has the Diocese of Saginaw cutting back. We get more priests, more people start coming to church. We'll open this back up. Until the younger population starts soul searching, joining Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Kukalan is one of the closest options for Marge. Until it too is deemed a church of occasional use next year. It's going to be hard to go someplace else because our people are used to coming here. For the Catholic Diocese, the future is uncertain. And after 72 years behind the keys, the next step for Marge is also undetermined. I'm afraid to go some places to play because I'm not, I'm just a, a little country girl. <laughs> In Kukalan, Josh Marshall, NBC 25 News.